Welcome to part two of my USS Flag toy review. The flag is seven and a half feet long and almost three feet wide at its widest, right around here. From its base all the way up to its antenna, it's almost two and a half feet tall. This is one big playset. This is the bow. And now we've come to the more uh, interesting side, the starboard side. Of course, here's the, uh, the elevator that you pull back and let it drop. lifeboat or admiral's launch and here we have the tower with uh, six small rooms in it I have the admiral on the bridge The bridge has a, uh, a wheel there, this um, valve here, a small computer which swivels, and that chair in the background is um, actually a two-piece affair. There's a hole in the back which leads down to the radio room. Beside the radio room is the armory with its bomb rack. You can move and remove if you don't want that there. Behind the bridge is the combat control room, or I guess where they fire off the missiles and such. This has a this has one of the doors. Behind it is just some well random unnamed room. It has a hole on the ground, uh, on the floor, which leads by the stairs uh, ladder to just a, another unoccupied room. I guess they call that a store, uh, storage room. Above, they have the ray dome, a swiveling net radar, a flagpole, with the, the G.I. Joe coat of arms on there. And a swiveling and pivoting uh, missile launcher with six big and also hollow red missiles. At the very top is the antenna, the communications and navigation array. It, uh, has nine pieces, or eleven if you count the uh, the caps on these uh, things. On the outside of the tower, we have two deck railings and a uh, a ladder leading from one deck railing to the other. Each 
each one of these uh, opening doors led to the uh, led to the unoccupied room on the inside. You also have these, um, I, I believe they're called Y, y pins. And here's the rear of the uh, flag, the stern. Of course, the stern has this uh, this back portion with its uh, rather fragile railing. It doesn't quite fit in. Uh, it probably accounts for how this thing breaks so often. It barely holds a figure in there. Um, I kind of wish it was like a centimeter higher. It's a nice little, uh, I guess a little private back area. You could either call it a, an engine room or just a private spot where I guess sailors can hang out and have a cigarette. Also on the back portion is this crane which swivel. Had an opening uh, engine cover and a knob which raised its um, hook. Also on the back end is of course the infamous uh, electronic sound system. Now I've put some batteries in here and we're just going to test this thing out. This is the microphone. Test egg, test egg, one, two, three. Generic quarters, battle stations. Now that works. The next one is, I believe, Air Raid. The next one is General Quarters. And the next one is All Clear. And here we have the included G.I. Joe tow vehicle and its fuel trailer. I've already shown the fuel trailer. And of course it's uh, nozzles and fuel wire, fuel holes. The vehicle itself has no armament. It does have a opening um, engine cover. And its tow arm is uh, well, I mean, it's slightly movable, but it shouldn't really be. It should really be level like this. Now one unwritten feature about the tow vehicle is that this knob fits perfectly into the Sky Striker's screw hole. You just connect it like so. And now the tow vehicle can taxi a Sky Striker into position. Now as someone who likes jets and the Sky Striker in particular this, of course, is one of my favorite features of the, uh, of the whole playset. And that is, of course, the whole tail hook part. And that was my review of the 1985 USS Flag, the greatest action figure playset ever made. Uh, thank you for viewing my video, and I'll see you next week with the next Vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Thank you.